welcome back to our iMonitor tutorial video series. In this video, we will explore the advanced functionality of the guidance system through the use of field boundaries and how they make your daily work easier. Once you create a field boundary, it will be displayed on the iMonitor. Currently, a field is selected, so the boundary is displayed in dark blue. You can easily deselect the field using the corresponding button in the field menu. Unselected fields are displayed with a light grey line. There are several options for field selections. By default, the iMonitor offers you automatic field selections. If you drive over a light grey boundary with the tractor, the corresponding field is automatically selected. In addition, you can select the field either in the field menu or directly on the map. To avoid unnecessary soil compaction during work and to achieve greater efficiency at the headland, you have the option of setting up a headland line. You can link actions to this, which enables you to achieve an optimal work sequence. To create a headland line, tap the corresponding icon in the field menu. In the input window, you can activate the headland and define the distance between field border and headland line. For this purpose, you have the possibility to create them in working with or directly in meters. In addition, actions can be defined, which are automatically executed when a defined distance to the headland line is exceeded. You can choose between two actions. Auto zoom and alarm. The auto zoom automatically adjusts the map view when the distance to the headland line is reached. You can also combine this with an alarm. If you have recorded, generated or imported an inner boundary in the active field, you can also activate a headland line for it. To do this, select the boundary line directly on the map. In the input window, you now activate the inclusion of the headland. In addition, the boundary must be defined as an exclusion area. Finally, confirm with OK. The input window for boundary editing also offers the possibility to define other boundary types. For example, if you want the boundary to be ignored, then disable the type or set it as a workspace. In addition, you can also create categories and assign the boundary accordingly. These can then be set later in the task menu as work or exclusion areas in the respective task. Especially in combination with automatic section control, working with boundary types is very helpful. To delete a selected field boundary, press the trash can icon. If you want to delete a field boundary of a field with one click, use the eraser button in the field menu. This concludes this tutorial video on advanced features with field boundaries. Discover also our other videos to learn useful tips and tricks about the iMonitor.